Morning lovely souls, Tim Wild. And as you can probably tell, I'm recording all right, sunrise, sunrise, sunrise in the southern southern UK. And uh, as I'm talking, hopefully it will get a little bit brighter as the sun is coming up behind me. But yeah, happy Friday, everybody. Hope you're all well. Um, interesting goings on on the in the on the ascension in the ascension world as 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 uh, as predicted. But I want to talk. Uh, I'm going to this morning address a few questions that I've had um, on Monday. I was talking about the, the walking meditation was connecting to the light of the seven suns. Now, um, I understand by the, the message thread that there's quite a few people who are have ta taken on board the fact that, that we are switching these light sources. And in, in some ways, a lot of us are very, very excited about the the prospect of this huge quantity or this huge volume of new light coming in but also other people are asking the inevitable questions about well how is this going to affect me are we going to be fried what's it going to do to um, all of the other people around us who are not quite ready for this this volume of light that's coming in so i want to just kind of talk a little bit about it this morning to 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 kind of iron out any any kind of discrepancies or any fears what we are going to experience what we are um what what is going to occur um i know and just a little bit i know so some, some people are describing it quite it's there's there's various sort of like descriptions about the event and some of them like you know the, the one of them are described as the great solar flash what I, I'm not giving it any particular name, okay, it, apart from the fact that it is, it is a fair, it's a monumental event on, on the spiritual calendar, but only so much as I, I regard it as a progression back to our state of natural being, okay. So, whereas we've lived on this planet for thousands of years, participating in Earth School, um, you know, experiencing the limitations of 3D physicality, what is essentially happening is that we're opening ourselves back up to a much higher source of light. Now, this higher source of light is where we come from originally. This is our, nat this is our natural state. We're not designed by our spiritual nature to be limited to the this this very kind you know like the what we call like the meat the meat and skeleton kind of variety of, of 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 spirituality this is the form that we chose to experience life in in our dimensional space but what we're going through is this incredible transition from from 3d to 5d in order to do so the light and the vibrations that we integrate with need to be of a much higher level. Now, when this this switchover occurs on the 21st of December, and and again, I know a lot of people are like you know they get a little you get some people get a little bit hung up about the fact that a lot of things are measured in the in the time scale of the Gregorian calendar. This is a this is a solstice event. This isn't anything to do with the the kind of the month or. The actual date. This is what the this is what the sun is doing. Okay, this is the the, the the it's the winter solstice in the northern hemisphere. It's the summer solstice in the southern hemisphere. Now, on the twenty first of December, um, every year we get an incredible volume of Christ light come into the planet. Okay, and this lasts for five days. It lasts for from the twenty first to pretty much the twenty sixth. So. Not quite naturally, this is when this switchover is occurring. Now, as I explained in Monday's video, for the first part of our ascension process, and probably for the thousands and thousands of years that, that we've, we've been incarnating in, in the karmic cycle, we have always received light from what we, the, that beautiful glowing orb that we see in the sky, our sun. Okay, now the light that has been has triggered the initial part of our ascension process came from a spiritual sun called Helios. Now Helios is known as the great central sun. It's a predominantly a very masculine energy and that masculine energy was needed to trigger. It needed to be the catalyst for the change. So 
the other seven the the other seven sons that have, have are basically mixed together in kind of, it's, it's almost like a it's almost like a <clears throat> a chemist concoction but made of light instead they are all mixed together in various percentages and are, are, are being added to what we are already receiving but we're receiving it from a from an undiluted source so yes we are going to notice a significant step up in our light fields but what i want to express is the fact that this won't be happening this, this isn't something that's just happening overnight we have been preparing for this for years okay so when we experienced the cosmic moment in in 2012 when we switched from 3d to 4d that is when the beginning of this process start it, it began okay we started to take more light into our bodies and our fields our, our percentage or our light quotient began to rise and by 2014 the light of collectively on this planet had risen significantly enough for all of us and i mean all of us not just not just the light workers to receive the blueprint of our 12 chakras now, you might have heard me say before, there isn't a single soul on this planet who's still operating on the old 3D7 chakra system. They, they don't exist anymore. We're, we're operating on a, on a much higher level. So slowly but surely, over the years, we have, we've become accustomed. It's, again, it's, it's the old analogy of boiling the frog. It, like, you know, if you have a little bit of something every day or, or on occasions when you get uh, an ex a, a significant spiritual event like say the lion's gate and the light jumps very suddenly then oh, if you think about it over the course of the last eight years or so we have been preparing okay so we the light has gone up and up and up physically mentally emotionally spiritually globally collectively and when we experience this switch or when the, the additional lights get turned on for us on on the 21st of December 2020, most of us aren't even really going to notice a huge amount of difference. I mean, I've been feeling the, I've been feeling physical symptoms for weeks now. My ears have been kind of telling me that there are fluctuations in the fields. What it's, it's simply a, another piece or quite a significant piece in the puzzle to build the 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 new the new golden era that we're moving into so so it's exactly the same analogy that i used before it's like moving into a it's like moving into a bigger house the lights are a lot brighter the decoration needs doing but it's, it's say it's it's halfway done it's there is absolutely nothing to worry about okay if if if, if um if you're i know a lot of people kind of feel you know like we've been pushed hard enough like they can't you like you might be feeling like you can't deal with any more of the circumstances that have occurred this year you can't deal with any more cleansing you can't deal with any more processing the light that you've taken in already over the course of the year has kind of reached so you've, you've hit maximum density with it and you just want a bit of peace and quiet i know exactly how you feel with that but just let the integration occur. There, there, to be absolutely honest with you, there's very little any of us can actually do about this. We are part of a natural flow. We're part of a natural process. And when the, the, this additional light becomes part of our, our planetary matrix, all it is going to do is simply benefit us by revealing more of the the inconsistencies or the shadows or 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 of the the old the old matrix which is basically crumbling away before our very eyes of course we're going through this incredible year that we're that, that we're experiencing at the moment 2020 and the, the the thing that highlighted it for me the most the reason why this date stuck out for me more than it before even that i knew that this this light switch was going on on the 21st was at the beginning of this year and i'm sure most of you have already heard this story i was sat seeing the new year in um you know like quietly sort of like preparing preparing for the new year setting my intentions feeling this incredible feeling of peace and calm and unity coming through 
and just uh, put just Archangel Metatron kind of chirping away somewhere, you know, in my in my right ear, saying, "Oh, it's going to be an incredible year. You're going to see the most amazing changes. It's going to be such fun." And um, and lo and behold, before the end of January, every everything's kicked off, and we we got this this we got this rolling ball of 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 what what we've experienced from January right through to November when you're listening to this. So it's the the thing that stuck out for me the most was that at the beginning of this year when I was having this conversation Archangel Metatron told me that by the winter solstice in December that two billion people will have woken up that weren't awake at the beginning of the year. Now that can only occur when situations like we have experienced are, are rolled out but also in order for consciousness to exist in a higher format the light has to exist as part of the uh, of, of the boundaries of reality so <laughs> it's it's it, it's what i would have called my target date for the year anyway because all throughout the year regardless of what we've experienced regardless of what i've been been kind of like integrating going through and reporting back to you or kind of formatting in in the stuff that I'm teaching the 21st of December this year has always been the target date for all of these people to have woken up so it all it all it does is all of these little pieces of the puzzle kind of keep getting added in and on on what what I'd like to say is on the 22nd of December when we all wake up the next day some of us might have a bit of a light hangover it's um, what what I always tend to personally feel when when we get big jumps in light, and it's happened on many occasions over the last eight years or so, is that it what it tends to do. It tends to chuck a rock in in a. It's a little bit like the analogy of chucking a rock in a pond. The rock will make a splash. It will go through the water, then it will hit the mud at the bottom, and all of the silt will get knocked up and quite a lot of the time that that kind of muddy feeling that light hangover that you might be experiencing is due to the fact that a lot of silt has been knocked out of the bottom of the pond and inevitably we clear it as 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 light workers because part of our job is to alchemize our surroundings and keep it in a higher light and if you look at the way that works you say say you get out of bed in the morning and you're you the first thing you do is you put your feet on the floor you ground you raise your light levels you open your heart whatever whatever your whatever your little routine is and um, that's what i tend to do anyway the the first thing that you are going to notice or the first thing that i tend to pick up on is the quality of the field around you what's the vibration like what's coming in and when big events have happened most of the time the the immediate thing is that you will feel that you have you might have to work a little bit harder because you can if you you raise your light but then but there's there's a little bit of resistance around you to it automatically you have to work that little bit harder to keep your light high because automatically you're alchemizing kind of lower frequencies or densities within the field around you so that might very well, in fact, I can, I can pretty much guarantee that, that 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 will be one of the things that we have to do is to, is to be more vigilant with our violet flaming, be more vigilant with our kind of our personal care, our, our keep our thoughts clean, keep our, keep our words high vibrational, keep our points of focus very much on the prize rather than the, all of the, the, the distractions that are going on around us. But for most of us, I think it's just going to feel perfectly normal okay we're not uh, <laughs> i can remember i can remember the cosmic moment in 2012 there was there was um there was a lot of excitement about it there was also a lot of kind of very looking back on it outlandish expectations about kind of all of a sudden you wake up on the next morning and you've you've, you've kind of jetted off to 5d butlins or whatever and and but you know we're going to wake up in our reality on the 22nd of december exactly the same way as we went to sleep the night before the the reality the the, the format of what we've got around us will have changed energetically but we will still be living in that reality we, we, we will just have additional work to do our light will be a lot higher and we shall integrate and 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 move in into that with grace and ease so 
have no expectations of what is going to occur apart from the fact that the light around you is going to be a lot higher, a lot brighter. And again, we are going to be seeing um, this, this, this rolling ball of exceedingly, exceedingly rapid change going on. And, and who knows where that's going to come from or what that's going to bring. What we're seeing at the moment is kind of the collapse of the it's almost like the collapse of the, the way that things were operating on a pre-existing level and the way that's, you know, we, we all know that's occurring by, by the inconsistencies or the untruths that are being shown in, in kind of the, 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 the authoritative structures around us and the way that they're, that they're dealing with defending themselves, but that is, it's, it's all falling apart. But what we're focusing on, what, you know, what, what I'm pers what I'm personally doing at the moment is just making sure that I'm I'm staying stable, staying grounded, staying steady, but working my my primary point of what I'm trying to do at the moment is is raising my light on a daily basis. I mean we've we've been doing it all year anyway. It's it's but when that switch over comes when that switch over occurs on the twenty first of December being ready for it in a way that you don't really notice any different because everything feels so completely natural it is a natural event it's not it's not it's not an ascension catastrophe it, it's not it's not going to all of a sudden put a hand grenade in your in your existence and blow it all apart all of a sudden the people that you love aren't going to get left behind or whatever we are all moving through this process on on an integrated level one thing that has been shown to me uh, quite clearly as as far as the the, the kind of what we would all categorize as the 3d shroud or the 3d nonsense occurs the winter solstice is the line in the sand it's it's as far as kind of the intergalactic council and 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 most like the higher forces are concerned that's as far as the that that's kind of the way it's been shown to me is that's almost as far as they're allowing the nonsense to kind of roll out and perpetuate itself so it gives us the most incredible advantage energetically because we are returning back to our natural form our natural source the higher our light is the more more competent the more natural we will become it it allows on a on a on a group or a collective level for us to collect even more of our spiritual gifts our talents our memories because Everything that we've been receiving over the last eight years or so, or maybe a bit longer, has all been put on a. Is a, all, all of the, I digress slightly here. When Atlantis fell and all of the sacred information um, was was put away into kind of like safekeeping or storage ten thousand years ago, it was all put away on what I call a vibrational lock which means when we retrieve that information, when the gifts and the talents and, and the memories and, and all of the things that we've incarnated to do come back to us, they will do so when the collective vibration on this planet will allow it to occur. And it's been done like that, so it never gets misused again. So what this jump in light will allow us to do, will have access to even more of this, simply because the collective consciousness will be rising might not look like it <laughs> all of the time because of the chaos and the kind of like the level of the cognitive dissonance that's going on around us but overall it's strengthening the quantity and the quality of light which we are existing in on, an, on a permanent basis it is another step forwards okay so just relax and and keep working on raising your light level stay away from all of the kind of like the triggers and the fear stuff and whatever you are being called to do, do it with, with the most open of hearts and, and put 100% into it. That's, that's all that can be asked of us at the moment is that we are being asked to step up and move into our highest roles as, as, as way showers, as, as leaders of the light, as teachers, as earth workers. Um, the, the list goes on. Okay, now I'm just I'm going to put put a, a little bit of information about we've got a lot of exciting events coming up okay like there's the there's the one that I'm doing with Diana Cooper on November the 30th which I know like you you see if you see my other video unfortunately it sold out very very quickly 
then middle of December I'm going to be starting a series of three of um, back in the summer there's some of you quite a few of you may have attended the Ascension Essentials that I did with Carolyn Bennett well we're going to be doing another three okay and it's going to be focusing on unity stability and love okay or stability unity like I, you know, I've got it, it will be the correct way around and I'll, I'll be putting I'll be putting the information or David will be putting the information up about it later on today and um, then on the 20th I'm going to be doing a solstice circle called the homecoming with with Paul Debrea Carey, Jackie White, Sally Shearing and then on the 21st of December which is the day okay David and I will be running kind of like a, a power hour to really integrate this this solstice light that is coming in the big switch over so have a look at my website timwild.com there'll be information about it up on this page but there's, there's there's a lot of a lot of exciting stuff coming up sending you all loads of love hope you hope you all have a lovely end to the week um any more exciting goodies i'll be updating about it but otherwise have a lovely weekend and i'll see you all on monday bye for now